We found court records showing this young man has a history of arrests, including for drugs, for weapons, and for assault. In fact, he posted bail just three days ago to get out of jail. We also know that the place where he first started shooting was where his family lives, but still unclear why this rampage happened. And this almost represents the worst kind of day for an officer to have to face in many ways. That is how Police Chief Cam McClay describes the miles long shootout that ended on Route 51, the suspect's stolen car full of bullet holes. Tonight we have this picture 20 year old Tyrone Harris, the man several sources identify as the suspect. The first sign of danger came from Jacunda Street at 10.06 this morning, a street where we know some of Harris's relatives live. The 911 center received numerous calls involving an actor walking in the area with a gun actively firing at citizens. Police say this is the gun Harris used, a Colt M4 assault style rifle as he wandered the streets of Knoxville. Uh, on rent's way after fire shots at an additional victim. Shots were fired at a car with two people inside. One was hurt, and soon after, a woman told police she'd been carjacked. The gunman now had her Buick LeSabre. At 1026, a sheriff's deputy spotted that LeSabre, but the shooter opened fire, nearly hitting the deputy, as you can see in this picture of that deputy's car. One of the rounds went through the windshield. It just missed his head, hit, hit the, uh, the headrest behind him. The deputy kept following the shooter until he got stuck in traffic on Route 51. There, investigators say he fired at officers again, so four Pittsburgh police officers and one from the Port Authority fired back, killing Harris inside the car. This was a gunfight that came that started itself, and then we joined, we were forced to join in, and it was our responsibility to stop it. Now, the five officers who did open fire have been taking, taken off duty as part of normal procedure. Also, that one man who was hurt in the shooting has been released from the hospital. Reporting live at Pittsburgh Police Headquarters, Bob Hazen, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Yeah,